in this problem we have a cylinder a smooth cylinder which is lying in a v shaped channel and the channel base itself is tilted at an angle theta with the horizontal and we have to find the angle theta for which the reaction force at b would be half of the reaction force acting at point a of the cylinder so the first step is to draw a free body diagram of the cylinder and we shall do so now so here is the free body diagram of the cylinder showing the three forces acting on it the reaction force at b is normal to the channel surface and would be passing through the center of the cylinder o similarly the reaction force at a is normal to this surface and is pointing towards the center of the cylinder the weight mg is acting downwards and now the first task is to determine the angles these two reaction forces make with the horizontal so we draw a line oq which intersects the line pqr at q the line pqr is same as this line that you see on this diagram so we want to prove that the angle oqr is 90 degrees and in order to do so we shall look at two right angle triangles oaq and obq the, this angle is 90 degrees this angle also is 90 degrees the sides of the triangle oa is equal to ob and is equal to the radius of the cylinder the side oq is common and therefore these two triangles oaq and obq are congruent and therefore this angle is equal to this angle and is equal to 45 degrees because this angle is 90 degrees and therefore this is 45 degrees and in this triangle this is 90 degrees this angle is 45 degrees therefore this angle is 45 degrees and similarly this angle also is 45 degrees now let us look at another two triangles oqr and oqp both are right angle triangles this angle is 45 degrees therefore this angle is 45 degrees similarly in this triangle this is 90 degrees this is 45 degrees therefore this angle also would be 45 degrees now this total angle that the line ap makes with the horizontal would be 45 degrees plus theta since this line makes an angle theta with horizontal and this line is parallel to this line therefore this angle is theta and therefore the line br would make an angle of 45 minus theta with the horizontal so now we know the angles these two reaction forces make with the horizontal the force rb makes an angle of 45 minus theta and the reaction force ra makes an angle of 45 plus theta with the horizontal so now we can model the cylinder as a particle and show the forces acting on it the weight mg acts downwards this is the horizontal line this is the reaction force rb and this makes an angle of 45 minus theta and 
we have R A acting like this. This makes an angle of 45 plus theta with the horizontal. So, now we have just these three forces acting on this particle and we can use Lamy's theorem to find out theta. And according to it, mg upon the sine of this angle it is sine of 90 degrees. Will be equal to RA upon RA upon sine of this angle, which is 45 minus theta plus 90 degrees. So, sine 90 degrees plus 45 minus theta will be equal to R B upon sine of R B upon the opposite angle that is sine of 90 plus 45 plus theta. So, we shall use these two equation to find out theta. So, we will say R A upon now sin 90 plus this angle would be equal to cosine of this angle. So, we can say this is cosine of 45 minus theta. equal to R B is equal to R A upon 2. So, we will replace R B with R A upon 2 and replace sin of 90 plus this angle by cosine of this angle 2 times cos of 45 R A will cancel out from both sides and this will simplify to 2 times cos of 45 plus theta equal to cos 45 minus theta. Now, we will use the trigonometric identity cos a plus b is equal to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. So, this will work out to 2 times cos 45 times cos theta minus sin 45 sin theta equal to we will again expand this and this will be equal to cos 45 cos theta plus sin 45 sin theta. Now, cos 45 is 1 upon root 2 and sin 45 is also 1 upon root 2. So, we can take 1 upon root 2 outside the bracket. So, we will have 2 1 upon root 2 cos theta minus sin theta equal to cos 45 is 1 upon root 2 and sin 45 is 1 upon root 2. So, we will take 1 upon root 2 outside the brackets 
and we will be left with this cos theta plus sin theta. One upon root two will get cancelled on both the sides. So what we will have is two cos theta minus two sin theta equal to cos theta plus sin theta. So two cos theta cos theta brought on this side will mean cos theta and we take 2 sin theta on the other side so that will be equal to 3 sin theta and this will give us tan theta equal to 1 upon 3 therefore theta will be equal to tan inverse 1 upon 3 and will be equal to 18.435 degrees and that is our answer. So, we are done. Thank you for watching and if you liked it, Please give your thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.